All right, today is September 19th, 2016, and we're looking at the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We have Hurricane Payne right here with 85 mile per hour winds. This storm is still moving in a northerly trek, and we can see some moisture that has actually gotten into the Southern California area. But uh, as we can see, let's take a look at the IntelliCast map. We can see that uh, this is much of this is still offshore. The area the moisture that looks to be moving in over uh, Southern California right here um, is actually being sprayed. We, we have a lot of chemtrail aerosols in the skies. They have sprayed uh, all those uh, overnight. And so we're not getting any lift in the atmosphere. We have a capping inversion and we're not getting rain uh, yet. We still have a lot of uh, moisture here, but see what's happening. We have this upper level low, which has a transmitter on it like we were talking about uh, last night in yesterday's video. And we can see the effect uh, this area of high pressure is having. It's uh, preventing uh, this moisture from fanning out and getting anywhere near uh, this uh, transmitter right there, which is uh, forcing uh, descending air down into that uh, upper level low. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the big map again. And uh, we can see the jet stream is still moving through the area of uh, Washington and Oregon. And we can really see the effect here, this uh, wall right here, which is uh, preventing uh, this hurricane's moisture from fanning out and moving anywhere near this area. So we can see the uh, the line there, all this moisture is moving right up, uh, mostly into uh, Arizona right now and into uh, New Mexico and, and Mexico. And notice that all the thunderstorms in the north in the uh, northern Mexico area have been uh, blown apart. We just have some residual steam. And right here we have something that's being uh, blown apart. If we take a look at the, uh, the uh, southwest map right here, in the water vapor mode, we can see uh, that this area of thunderstorms is moving right through Los Angeles right here. Now, if we look at this in the uh, visible light mode, we can see that there is some manipulation going on, right? As we transition from the night to day, we see a large crater right here, right over Los Angeles in Orange County. And uh, this here is, uh, this has been targeted with microwave. Everything is just uh, disintegrating as it moves right in uh, on shore. And of course, we have transmitters out here on uh, San Nicolas Island, which is right, right there. And there's transmitters uh, in San Pedro, California. And there's several located all up and down the coast, Half Moon Bay, uh, further up. We can see the bands of this hurricane now getting fairly close to California, but all the high pressure from this uh, upper level low right here, we can see is redirecting that, redirecting the uh, moisture uh, more in an easterly uh, flow pattern. We have a kind of a wall set up right, right here where the pen is, and we can see a blast pattern on that uh, loop as well. Okay, the National Hurricane Center map uh, right here, we have Category 1 storm for Hurricane Payne uh, moving uh, northwest at 16 miles per hour. And we can see the track has not changed. So this is going to be quite interesting. That's a fairly big storm still. And uh, <clears throat> it is being... Uh, blown apart though we can see the uh the oblong the oval shape here it's not nearly as big as it was uh, last night yesterday and we have this upper level low which is 
slowly uh, creeping to the uh, west. All right, so that's just the update. There's not much else to report. Um, I don't think we're going to get much rain here in Southern California. I hope, hope I'm wrong about that, of course. Uh, they could let this uh, come in and, and uh, deluge us with rain, but I, I just don't think that's going to happen. It's in their hands, and the weather people uh, know that. All right, so that's it. We'll do another update uh, probably tonight.